here. You're going to have to get a hot pepper. Yeah. yeah. All right. How's it going, everyone? Uh, yeah. Everyone was uh, in the comments section on my previous videos. There were some people that were uh, asking me to speak about the recent Malaysia plane uh, that was shot down by a missile. It's like, it's like a bike. <laughs> Yeah, and in the meanwhile, he's eating a hot pepper from the yard. You could tell how uh, interested I am in speaking about this. I released a video a while back speaking about the Malaysia flight that went missing, that they never found. And now this other Malaysia flight that got shot down by a missile. Okay, well, where are we going with this? First of all, who cares at this point? Because uh, what difference does it make? At least... Let me just say that, I mean, I care if the people that got killed on that plane, obviously, you know, my heart goes out to those families and everything that lost their loved ones on that flight. But as far as the conspiracy issue goes, yeah, as far as the conspiracy issue goes, who cares about that? I don't know what just went down right now. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we're just over here. I'm having my son's baby shower today, and uh, got hot uh, yeah, I was gonna make a video about that, but then I thought, well, I gotta make a video. Why not speak about the Malaysia plane? Like I said, okay, returning to the subject in question, the Malaysia plane got shot down over Ukraine by a missile. Well, first of all, let me ask you this: Is Malaysia Airlines kind of unlucky? Because first one of their airlines or airliners goes missing, and it still hasn't been found to this day. Actually, it just fell off the radar. They're not even speaking about it no more on mainstream media. Uh, people probably forgot that there was this big jumbo jet that went missing a while back and uh, hasn't been heard from since. With uh, yeah, a lot of people on board, 300 people or something like that. Whatever. Okay, moving from there. Now this new plane, Boeing 777, shot down by a Buk missile, they said. A Buk missile system, surface-to-air missile over Ukraine. First of all, what was the plane doing there? What was it? Why was it flying over a war zone? Where, okay, there's uh, some sources that said that the plane was, uh, I don't know, the, 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 fly, the flight path was... <laughs> Sorry, I have him in the background doing some dumb crap. Yeah, they, they rerouted that plane over Ukraine, over that war zone. Why? Uh, it, it, FAA said to not fly over the, over a war, and they, they said not to have no airliners fly over that war zone, even European, and blah, 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 blah. And we know where that's going at. What the fuck was the plane doing flying over a war zone? Okay, then we move on from there. Now they said they're blaming Russia. They're saying it was Russia who shut it down. Then Russia said it wasn't them, it was the uh, Ukrainian terrorists who shot it down. Then the Ukrainian terrorists who shot it down, their commander or whatever, looked at the bodies that they found in the wreckage and said that those bodies have been dead for a week or so, drained of blood, already decomposing. However, not some fresh corpses, if you know what I mean. He's saying that those people were already dead on board that flight. All right. Then I read this other stuff that is saying that the Malaysia plane that just got shot down by a missile was actually the Malaysia flight that went missing a while back convoluted and crazy and then there's this other story about all these AIDS researchers on board that plane at first they said there was a bunch of uh, like a hundred AIDS researchers uh, high-ranking uh, AIDS researchers that were heading to the uh, 2014 AIDS conference over in Melbourne and uh, yeah okay there's some conspiracy theory going on saying and even Alex Jones reported on this saying that he had intel that they were going over there to discuss and uh, blow the whistle that HIV and AIDS is a man-made bioweapon or at least man-made okay well uh, okay it's it just goes goes crazy I don't, I don't know what to say I'm just making this video out of out of the hell of it because people asking me just talk about the plane and uh, there's not really much to say. Did Russia shoot it down? Ukrainian terrorists shoot it down? I don't know. Did, uh, is America now blaming Russia for shooting down the plane because they want to start a war? I don't know. Either Russia or the Ukrainian terrorists would have been the shooting down the plane, whoever it was. Was it a mistake? I don't know. They picked up a plane on the radar and they thought it was a military plane and they fired a missile at it. 
And then later on, oh crap, it was actually a civilian airliner. Was it a mistake? I don't know. Was the plane shot down because of the hundred uh, AIDS researchers on board that are about to blow the whistle on AIDS, HIV being a, a bioweapon developed by the U.S. government? I, I seriously doubt it. And then actually, there's reports came that came out saying that the AIDS researchers on board that plane were just six, and they're already AIDS denialist websites and groups already. <sighs> They pr they're, they're proud of this. They're saying that these people deserve to die because of, uh, oh my god, it's, oh, it's giving me a headache. It's giving me a headache. It really doesn't matter now, doesn't it? A plane got shot down. 298 people, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, there were 298 people on board that plane that died. What can I say? Apart from, um... Uh, I'm sorry for all those deaths, and uh, you know, all my heart goes out to those families. The conspiracy crap. At this point, I don't really give a crap because and no, nothing surprises me anymore. What is my uh, and uh, I don't know. What do I think about this? I don't care. Apart from the plane getting shot down, like I said, and those people that died, I really don't care. Because it's stupid. Uh, I, I just, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I'm just making this video for the crap of it because people asked me to make it. Uh, let's see where it goes. Maybe this is to start a war with Russia or something. I don't know. Maybe Russia is in the deal with the New World Order like Alex Jones says. Maybe, the, uh, no, I don't know. What do you think about the plane? Yeah, the plane is definitely gone. Yeah, it's it's in pieces everywhere. You think yeah. it was a conspiracy theory or something? Uh, it was because I don't know the U.S. trying to start wanting to blame Russia to start a war maybe, with Russia. Possibly, I don't know. We'll have to see how things turn out. Do you care about it? Not right now. Precisely. That's why I'm ending it here. You see how we're getting caught up in this crap because, okay, Malaysia plane one goes goes missing. Malaysia Plane 2 goes shot down. It wouldn't surprise me if a month from now, Malaysia Plane 3, I don't know, falls in the ocean and then they blame China. Quite frankly, I'm done with all this conspiracy crap. Really. We'll see where it goes, eh? Well, at least they said Russia recovered the black box, or what was it that the Ukrainian terrorists recovered yeah. the black box? Yeah, or something like that. They're going to investigate it themselves. So let's just pretend that Russia and the United, then the U.S. are not. Let's like say Obama wasn't calling up Putin at the time that this plane went down, and and hey, hey, not coordinating stuff with him for whatever reason it they were coordinating stuff. I don't know. I'm just babbling here. Okay, yeah, uh, my son's. Uh, baby shower today and I wanted to make a video about this because uh, I was gonna make a video with the baby shower going but it wasn't that interesting except for us just sitting here drinking beer and the kids going crazy so however that well, uh, yeah that, well, that they, no, 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 they were, they were uh, yeah, yeah you know you know how that goes and, oh yeah and him eating the hot pepper how was that oh yeah how was that delicious can you do it again Very yeah good. eat the seeds go for it good I told you to see them. When he's going to take a shit later, I tell you, <laughs> this is going to be horrible. Okay? It's going to be like the missile, the book missile going up his ass and blowing up. <laughs> you know, from there, I'll end it here, people. Uh, yeah, here's your Malaysia plane video. Hope you liked it. I told him to save them. <laughs> so what do you think about the plane? Was it a conspiracy? Daddy. Yes, it had Daddy. MSG in it. Daddy. It had MSG in it. <laughs> yeah, I see. You think sure. they, they were transporting MSG or something like yes. that. Maybe it was because of the, I don't know, the McDonald's I think, thing. I think they were going to uh, supply McDonald's with meat. They were going to supply McDonald's with meat. Why did they get shot down by a missile? Uh, I just had to mix it up. So Come the on. AIDS researchers <laughs> had nothing to do with the plane being shot down? It Daddy. shouldn't have at all. No, wait. Actually, I know what happened. Daddy. Yeah, they were transporting oh, McDonald's them? meat patties yeah. that were infected with AIDS. And that's why they were shot yeah. down, because the McDonald's empire, obviously, is in bed with the government. Go and, uh, okay, let's not go there. Do you have something to say about the plane? No. <laughs> Men in black right now. The aereo, the Malaysia, the plane, what do you think about it? What do I think about it? Yeah, the plane that got shot down by the missile. 
What's the difference? Was it a conspiracy to draw Russia <laughs> into a war with the U.S.? I said it's gone. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Yeah. Nobody knows who would have happened. <laughs> Do you care about what happened? Even if you care, what's the... Uh... What's the point, right? That's exactly what I'm talking about. Let me go ask some more questions. Remember the plane that got shot down by the missile? The Malaysia Airlines plane? Mm -hmm. What do you think about it? Was it a conspiracy or something? The first one or this one? Oh, this one, the last one. Yeah, I think it was a conspiracy. You think the U.S. was trying to draw Russia into a war or something like that to start World War, World War III? It's possible, yes. What do you think about the plane that got shot down by that missile? It's sad. Do you think it was a conspiracy theory or something that the U.S. was trying to start a war with Russia or possibly start World War III? No. Yeah, do you care about the conspiracy theories? No. Nobody cares. Take a pencil del aire, okay? It's stato, di stato distrutto dal missile. What do you think about the plane that got shot down by a missile? Was it a plot to, I don't know, for the U.S. to draw Russia into a war or to start World War III or something? Maybe. Everyone thinks it's a conspiracy. Let's go ask some more questions. Hi. So, what do you think about the plane that got shot down by the missile? You know the Malaysia Airlines flight? Was it a conspiracy to draw Russia into a war with the U.S. or possibly start World War III? I think awesome, it's a, awesome. a distraction for what's really going on. And what is really going on, would you think? We don't know what's going on. Do you think it, the AIDS researchers on board that plane had any, uh, I don't know, any, so anything really to do with... Up, but we don't know what's going it's on until fixed. we actually know what's going it's on. It's all fixed. Okay, well, of course. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's all fixed. It's all crap and bullshit. Okay, so you don't, you don't think that maybe this uh, airline was shot down by Russia and uh, the U.S. is now blaming Russia. And in reality, the plane was brought down by the, the Russian terrorists, I don't know, the Ukrainian terrorists. But now the U.S. is blaming Russia because uh, they want to start a war with Russia and possibly start... I think it's all combination with Russia, Al-Qaeda, and Korea. Okay. All combined. That's, that's a pretty interesting... Uh, all combined. Cause Korea can make the weapons, Al-Qaeda is a part of the terrorists, and Russia wants to be part of it too. Is this so everybody is not getting on U.S. because U.S. have a lot of issues with the president and all that other stuff. All right. So if that becomes, it's going to become. So you know? uh, is this convoluted bullshit giving you a headache? Yes. Do you care about this convoluted bullshit or these conspiracy not really. theories? Not really. Not really. Just like the others said. Let's move along. Hi. Oh. Hello. So, have you heard about the plane that got brought down by that missile that we, it was shot down over Ukraine? No. You didn't watch the news? Uh-uh. The Malaysia plane that got shot down by the oh, missile? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What, uh, what do you think about that? Wow. I just, I, you know, those poor people. Yeah. You know, well, that's that's the first thing. You know. The people. The incident it's that you're, you're flying, going on vacation, whatever, and then all of a sudden, it's just a freak act. It's just a freak moment. And now you the U.S. Know. Have you heard about the U.S. blaming Russia now for shooting down that plane? Do you oh. think it's uh, like a conspiracy theory or something to draw Russia into a war with the U.S. to possibly start World War III? You know what? I think it is a wrong, it's wrong for them to think like that because be I, it could have been a, it could have been anything. Right. So, anything. do you really care about what the conspiracy theories are talking about? I do. I, I don't understand too much of it but I do care and I um, you know I, I, I hope for the best it's mostly know? the people that got killed on that plane right yeah, yeah. if people got killed because the yeah, Russian they, uh, Ukrainian terrorist commander or whoever yeah. it is said that those bodies were already there for more, they were already dead for more than a week or something I don't know if you heard about that possibly there was nobody well even so where did the people on board that plane go they're still missing yeah, I know. So I don't know what anything. I I just hope that they're okay. I just hope that you know, if there's if there are survivors, they get to them. You know, right. And the outcome of it is is good. You know, but you know, for for everybody. So bottom line is nobody gives a crap about the conspiracy theories, whether it be. I don't know, the U.S. trying to draw Russia into a war with us to start World War III or those AIDS researchers or whatever the hell it is. We only care about the people that got killed on that plane. If those bodies were already dead for a week, as that Ukrainian commander says, I don't know. 
But even if those bodies were already dead, what happened to the people on board that plane? <sighs> Moving along. Let's just wait for the next thing to happen. Maybe next time, like I said, Malaysia Airlines, we're going to see something else happen. The next one will fall in the ocean, and the people will go magically missing again. And then we'll blame, I don't know, China for some crap. However, just a question and answer session after a little session in the backyard where uh, Alan over there ate that hot pepper, and uh, I think he's at the shitter right now having diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> However, people, here's my Malaysia, uh, what was it, M17 flight video. Hope you like it.